Covid may have transformed our lives, but it's not the only enemy. Today is the last day of a three-week exercise for One Lank's anti-tank platoon. It's seen them conducting heavy carries, gunner skills tests, javelin tactics, and today they're learning about their secondary weapon system, the N-Law. OK, safety brief. Signal to stop firing is stop, stop, stop. While Covid and everything was on, um, and the mobile testing, we were sort of dispersed training. So lads were doing a lot of online stuff on the Army Knowledge Exchange and the Defence Connect and all that sort of stuff. So it was good to actually shake out as a platoon and get some proper training done and get, you know, get to fire some in-laws. A lot of the lads um, themselves have, have missed being around one another. Obviously, you've broke down into small units and pushed out of the uh, battalion itself. But now we're all back to go. Yeah, a lot of people are enjoying it, and especially courses like this uh, help. N-laws are expensive, and the soldiers don't often have chance to get hands-on. The weapons in their Bergens are drill rounds, fakes filled with around 12 kilograms of concrete to simulate the weight they would be carrying. So this is the NLR weapon system, it's the anti-tank platoon secondary weapon system. Uh, today we're going to be currently firing it at 200 metres, however it fires at 600 metres on a static target, 400 metres on a moving target. The weapon system itself then is soft launch, uh, so we have no recoil. It has two modes, it has a direct attack and like overtop attack. What happens is on the direct, the round will project from the, uh, from the tube itself and it will fire directly at the target. Uh, the OTA that we have on it, the other method of firing, uh, the round fires slightly above the target itself and then the round projects into the, into the target. In January, One Lanks head to Kenya to take part in Exercise Ascari Storm, playing enemy for the Mercian Regiment. They may yet have work to do before they leave if they're pulled in to help with vaccinations. For now, though, it's back to business as usual. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.